last video. In this video, we're going to take rectangular form of polar, or sorry, rectangular form of complex numbers. That's what I meant to say. And we're going to change that into polar form of complex numbers. So what I'm doing right now is highlighting the real and imaginary parts to these numbers. So this z we could write as 0 plus 3i, and this one is negative 117 plus 0i, which then helps us go in and highlight those different pieces a little bit better. So I have A and B highlighted for all of these. Now hopefully as you're looking at these problems, they're going to look eerily familiar to you. These are actually the same four problems we did in the first video of this lesson, for example, one. In that example, we, list, we graphed the point, we listed the real and imaginary part, we found the modulus, the argument, and the principal argument. So what I want you to do really quickly is go back in your notes and list the modulus and the principal argument oops, let's see, that you got for each of these from example one. So pause the video, just go to example one and copy down the modulus and principal argument for all of these, then come back and we'll continue. Next. Remember that the modulus is just another way of writing our r, and your principal argument is just another way of writing theta. So now that we have r and theta, or the modulus and the argument, we're going to write each of these as r cis theta, our polar form, but in shorthand, which is what we talked about in the last video. So all I'm going to do is replace r with the modulus for that problem and replace theta with the principal argument of that problem. So for a, I would get 2 cis negative pi 6. And that is my answer. So that's all you need to go from a plus bi to r cis theta. You just calculate the modulus like we did in the first video, calculate the principal argument like we did in the first video with, just a little reminder, a squared plus b squared for the modulus, and arctan of b over a for the argument. So calculate those with those, and then write it as r cis theta or modulus cis principal argument, and that's your answer. That's all you need. So now that you understand how to put these together, go ahead and pause the video and do B, C, and D. Put those together with the modulus and the argument we've already listed, and then come back to check your work. And here we go. You can check all your answers, pause the video if you need, and take a little bit more time to look at this. But that is all for lesson 6.3. So in summary, this lesson was about taking the rectangular form of a polar coordinate, a plus bi, and being able to change that into its polar form, or vice versa, taking the polar form of a complex number and changing it into its rectangular form. So you should now be able to go between the rectangular and polar form for complex numbers interchangeably. And that's it for 6.3. You are totally done. You are welcome to get started on your homework.